the Votan refused to observe the lawful borders of Imperial space and have again trod on the Emperor's territory without permission. Space Marines, attack! This is 40K in 40 minutes! I am Tycho, the Child of Chaos, fresh from the warp to voice this Play On Veterans battle. You know him, you love him, the voice of Play On, come on down! The contender is Space Marine Steve. He's dressed in blue power armor, his hearts are full of fervor, and his bolters are lubed and ready to tear up this fantastic Game Mat EU battlefield. Pre-painted terrain and awesome mats get your tabletop war game set up in the mail, all at once, boom, plonk, and play. Kapow! Just like that. Check out the new stuff on their website. There is a link below to click and get your game on. Game Mat EU, building the battlefield of your dreams. And mine. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And I know that JT wants you to join our membership for exclusive content and other great perks. You know you want to. Do it! Oh, time to bring the grudges, baby. The Votan Force is led by Karl Franz with a Grimnir, Einheer Champion, Brokir Iron Master, two squads of Hearthkin, a Sagittar full of Berserks, Thunderkin, Einhar Hearthguard, three Pioneer squads, and the Hecaton Land Fortress, the Hammer of Luna. Votan shoots straight and are grumpy as usual. Steve's just got Space Marine armor and guns, and this is going to be a tough nut for the Votan to crack. So I am playing my Ultramarines, uh, except I'm not going to play a Gladius today. Today I'm doing the Anvil Siege Force. I've entitled this army. It's like a Tau army, but way cooler. Yeah, go Nick. The Space Marines are led by Marnius Kaldar and an Apothecary. Intercessors, Desolators, Eliminators, Eradicators, Hellblasters, Infiltrators, a Ballistus Dread, a Hail Strike Speeder, and a Repulsor round out the force. This flexible force has a tool for every occasion that requires a gun. We're going to have a great time, JT. I'm coming for you. You and your little space dwarves. You kind of look like a space dwarf. Deployment is Dawn of War. Mission, take and hold, scoring up to 15 for objectives each turn. Vox static means command reroll will cost two command points and let the dice tell even more decisive stories this game. Should be exciting. All right, JT, come on out. I dare you. The grudges have been issued. The book is open. Time to strike one from the mighty book of judgment. It's me and Steve today, baby. Woo hoo hoo! I gotta be careful this game, I gotta make sure that I'm holding the objectives, that I'm giving myself the space that I need to let my shooting do the job that it's gotta do. Infiltrators on the right flank. Pioneer bikes in the corner. Ballistus at home. Hecaton front and center. Stormspeeder in the corner. Hearthkin with the call in the far corner. Hellblasters with the apothecary. Thunderkin with Grimnir Theo the Mechanic on the home objective. Eradicators respond on the Space Marine home objective. Pioneers on the far side. Repulsor mid. Sagittar for a flank rush with their berserkers. Jet bikes in the gap. The Space Marines look a bit outnumbered by the Votan. Firepower and armor, oath and grudge, let's get it on. You ready? Do you I'm want ready. first or second? I, I want second turn. I think I want to give you like, one turn of coming this way, that's what I want. I think so. But it's hard to say. Four. Oh, well, my. It's a one. It's a one. Are you going I'm first? actually happy to go first. Oh, I got my second turn and I love it. Yes, I do. JT is going first. He judges the Storm Speeder Hail Strike, Infiltrators, and the Eliminators. An early kill will mean a big boost to the Votan command points. Pioneers scout ahead on the lookout for plunder. Cleanse and behind enemy lines are a bit of a tough draw. Oh well, we all have dreams. JT will have work to do to get his points here in round one. No way with my stubby legs I'm getting across the board to score. Buckle up buttercup, here we go. I'm gonna be able to sticky some objectives, like my home objective with my hearthkin, which is key because like that lets me move off it and get into the middle of the board. I'm not going to get behind any lines. No, no, that's not happening. Yeah, not on the first turn. But what I will do is start the shooting. So I'm going to start with my Hecaton Land Fortress, and he is going to open fire into your infiltrators. The infiltrators use armor of contempt for one command point. 
So it's going to hit you on a three because you're double judged. Contempt. No. Damage. D6 plus six. Here we go. Uh, 12. I have a six up feeling no pain. I'll be all right. <laughs> you can live. You can, one dude could tank this. Oh, you don't. Yeah. You, you don't know. You don't know me. No, he's okay. <laughs> the rest of the squad nearly dies, leaving a solo wounded infiltrator. So Sagittar. Yes, because you're stealth. From here, into there. Uh, on force? No. Nothing. Excellent. Sagittar missile launcher, two shots. Oops. Both hit. Yeah, there we go. Uh, no sustain on that one, but it is strength 12. So on twos. Uh, that is two AP threes for flat three. AP three, so AP two with cover. Five oops. I make neither, so you kill two dudes. So that's squad of bikes. I can see all your dudes. Here we go. Because you're double dash. The eliminators are dead. That means next command phase, I will get bonus command points. I cannot get engaged in all fronts. The bikes are on that objective. I've cleansed center. I've cleansed left. This side, my left, your right. Cleansing two objectives and some decent shooting. Have JT in a five to zero point lead and up to two command points. Great first turn. Steve needs to grab those bootstraps and pull hard. Capture enemy outpost and assassination. Rough draw. Oath of Moment comes down on the Sagittar. Calgar generates a command point, two for Steve and three for JT for the round. The intention here is to keep as much of my stuff out of line of sight as possible. I want to make sure that I can get set up to like really and truly hit hard in turn two. And I think I'm going to be able to. However, I've got to do the damage this turn. So let's see what happens. The last infiltrator finds a hole to hide in at the back of the map, duck and cover. The hammer of Luna is scary. Uh, all right, cool. So I'll go to my shooting phase. No threat too great costs two command points, and the Hellblasters will get full wound rerolls. So they're going to fire everything at the chat star? It's Oath of Momented, and it is full rerolls to wound. So, 17 hits. Are these overcharged? You better believe they're overcharged. Because <laughs> if you die, you're going to keep shooting. Yeah. And then the apothecary <laughs> will just bring him back. It's fine. It's fine. Look, I, I have a plan. It's a cunning plan. <laughs> it's a cunning plan. Uh, so they go strength eight, so I'm wound on fives, re-rolling. I'm going to make three. Oh, you take six. I got three left. And then this happens immediately. And then I lose two guys. So two of them die. And then on three ups, they shoot. Three ups, they shoot. So one so of one them does. shoots. Ah, darn. Is re-rolling. Oh, wounds, AP minus three. Goes through. Goes through. Take two damage. Down to one. Why? Why? Ah, poetic justice for me having an infiltrator live. That's what it is. So then uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to use Calgar's unit with the multi-melta and the two melta rifles, and they're going to slam into the bikers. Uh, two AP fours. AP, they're going to go right through. D6. Does one whole damage. Okay. Second one does six. I kill one. I'm gonna hit that unit with the Ballistus Dreadnought as well. Last cannon nearly kills one. It takes a missile to finish it off. They have one left. All right, so a uh, Storm Speeder Hail Strike. Sure thing. Whoosh. One wound left. Here we go. Fail one. Death. Death awaits you. It's two command points to use a reroll. It is, box yeah. Static. So you know what? I don't care. A grenade finishes the Sagittar, and the Berserks are dumped out battle-shocked. All right, I'm going to uh, Castellan Launcher. Mm -hmm. You yeah. kill one dude. Cool. The Repulsor has a shot at the Thunderkin. GT protects them with Void Armor for one command point, down to two. All the Again, Steve's dice are cold. The ECOG servants are the only casualties. I'm really hoping that JT has a mediocre turn. And if he does have a mediocre turn, I think I'm gonna hit hard in my turn. Steve drops capture enemy outpost, but already has his CP for the turn. A rough turn for the Space Marines, no points, no objectives, and has taken some losses. I'm kind of pleased going into my turn two, uh, what I got coming. So um, lots of command points. Gonna shoot some stuff, gonna kill some things. Assassination and storm hostile objectives are a bit difficult for JT. 
15 primary points, JT is in full control. JT also snags a spare three command points for killing his oath target first round. Ooh, shades of early ninth edition. Start re-rolling because you got that re-roll money. I got the re-roll money. <laughs> I got yeah, re-roll re money. You got for two, I get the re-roll money. Yeah, I got you. Oh, we're absolutely overwatching. Well, I would think so. I would spend a command point and I'm gonna overwatch with all of them. Come at me, bro. They're even gonna overwatch. They're even gonna overcharge. <laughs> oh yeah. So the four of them though wipe the unit. I need to strip two guys at least so yep. you don't fully wipe the squad. Yes. Yeah, uh, I, would, I would say at least. I gotta get a bunch of sixes. You need a bunch of sixes. I need, I need a bunch of sixes. There's two. Oh, three of them. Three, baby. Three, and they're wounded on threes. They are. They're ready to go. Plus, hopefully I kill a couple of guys and then they get These to shoot again. These are two damage each, right? These are two damage a piece, yeah. All of them. All right. And AP silly, right? The Mole Launcher and another Berserk are fried and one Hellblaster gun goes Nova. Oh, the meta humanity. Okay, so here's hoping that JT's second term is very, very, very tame because, whoa boy. I, uh, if I lose more here, if I'm pushed further into this corner, then I truly have lost. And there's just absolutely no way that I can bring it back. I'm gonna start with my Hecaton Land Fortress firing into your tank. These are sustained hits one and twin linked. Mm. Well, that oh was my. absolute poop. I love it. None. None. Holy smokes. Victory. Look at the big U, JT. Look at it. Look at it. Look at nope, it. Nope, nope. <laughs> yes, my enchanted toilet seat. Uh, you actually, I actually ignore cover because the pan spectral scanner. Oh, okay, whatever. So major auto cannon, pan six shots. spectral scanner on fours. Oh my, nothing. Just one. <laughs> hey, what was you? Uh, I'm T12, I'm T12. T12 matters? I rolled a six. T12. <laughs> it doesn't matter, I rolled okay. a six. AP one, two damage. Four up. I'm good. You ready? The big gun? Magna Ram. Hits. Ooh. Ooh. Strength a lot. 18. 18. Go on threes. Oh, five. AP four? AP four ignores cover. All right, yeah. D6 plus six, here we go. 12 oh. damage. That's crazy. You've done it twice over now. I know, it's ridiculous. <laughs> you got four left. You You're still right. got work ahead of you. Yeah, I don't think I can take him out, but I'm gonna try. I would have been, I would be feeling a lot safer if you hadn't 12 with yeah, the right? Magna Rail again, but oh All well. Right. So we're gonna go now with the Broker Thunder Candy. If I get a four up, it's a critical hit. Oh, your fours are criticals four, now? Fours are criticals. Okay. So it's three shots. Hitting on threes, fours are crits. Yes. So one crit, so one crit. an extra D3 shot. I'm gonna command reroll for two oh because I have it, because I want to try to kill this thing. JT. So I'm gonna reroll one of those, and it misses. Shame on you. But it's sustained D3 for one. Nothing. Excellent. I feel great. Ooh. Yes. Thunderkin whiffed. Whiffed. Ooh, baby. Mm, that's the stuff. I Fuck love it. Pistol. This is what I live for, JT. It's, this is the best. On how many wounds you have left? Four. Oh, eat my shorts. <laughs> this squad of bikes Ooh. into the Hellblaster. Uh, I fail one. Fours. You get down on threes. Uh, fail both. One's failing both. So two Dies. guys die. Two guys die. On three ups, they can shoot. Both of them. Uh oh, hot and dog. And they're both going to overcharge and go into the into the silly, into, silly little dude. Into the guys. Gotcha. Let's do this. First guy dies. Second guy Lives. takes nothing and takes nothing. Wow. You kill one dude. I was really hoping you were going to be judged. I got to be honest. You kill one more of them though. How many left in your squad now? Uh, so there's uh, five hell blasters left. Five hell blasters left. Okay. Solo biker shoots the hail strike. No damage. It's charge time. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Berserkers, uh, Berserker makes the charge. Solo biker follows them in. I'll start with the bike. Okay. Two attacks, ready? Oh, I'm built, I'm born ready, my friend. Bike rams at the Hellblasters. It deals a single wound. <laughs> and now smashy, smashy. With nothing. 
sick. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Dude! Okay. No! I will be fighting back. The Berserk falls and the Hellblasters get judged. Silly dwarves. And they're mining stuff. What do they do again? Is it mining? Do they mine? It's mining, right? It has to be mining. That's going in the book! Is it going in the book? It goes in the book. JT discards both his secondaries and will finish with five command points and 20 victory points. Steve has a chance to get right back in it. What needs to happen this turn is that I need to do as much damage as possible because I'm not scoring any secondaries right now. It's not happening. Secondaries is a pipe dream to me. Defend Stronghold is drawn and Assassinate is still in play. That's a secondary he can do. Five points on primary. Put Steve on the board. I am going to oh, oath oh. of moment the guys in the back here, the um, hearth guard with the tough, they're the toughness six dudes. Yeah, I, I, I kind of need to overwatch them. I don't want them out front here, that's for sure. <laughs> no. These guys overwatch no. on five. No, you do not. These guys overwatch on sixes, but there's so many more guns. Those guys overwatch on fives. Yeah, no, we're gonna go with the, we're gonna go with the Thunderkin, just because they do so much damage. If it gets through, they're gonna kill you. So, I'm gonna start with the Thunderkin first. Conversion beamers slash in. The Victrix Honor Guard takes it on their shield. No damage. Oh, uh, sorry, before, uh, before it moves, uh, the uh, intercessors are all going to get out. Uh, so let's start with Kalgar's unit. And Kalgar's unit is going to throw a grenade at the Hecaton. So looking for four ups, uh, trying to get some sweet, sweet mortals on this thing. Ha, ah, baby, uh, one whole mortal wound. All right, sir. Loving every minute of that. Down to 15 wounds oh, that's remaining on the Hecaton Land Fortress. And then uh, we'll shoot all of uh, our weapons into uh, the Hecaton. So I'm going to Void Armor. Sick. For one command point. Down we... four. Over we go. Hook. Nope. Uh, so 2d6 plus 4 damage. Oh, sorry. Uh, so 7 plus 14 wounds. 14 wounds. Down so, to 1. Uh, and then uh, Kalgar tries to hit it. Kalgar doesn't finish the job, but fire the Gatling Cannon at the Hecaton and bolters and array at the Pioneer Bike. On force. All I need is 1 6. Bring her down. Well, need, That's it. Come on, baby. You can do it. Yeah. There it is. That's all that matters. Does he explode? Nope. Nope. Six dudes in there? Yes, six dudes. The Hammer of Luna succumbs to the barrage of fire and the hearth guard have to disembark. One dies as they get out. Into the bikers from the remainder of the heavy, of the yep. repulsor. On fours. Free ups. Uh, take a wound. Hailstrike Landspeeder opens up all guns at the hearthkin warriors in the back. Repulsor uh, is judged. I make one, I fail one. I will take away one of the corves. Iron Hail Heavy Stubber. Twin Link. Twin Linkered. Two Corbs and a Kin go down. Has your Storm Speeder stopped shooting me? Yes. I'm gonna yeah. spend two command points. Reactive Reprisal costs two command points and will allow them to shoot back. First, with the Grimnir. Hitting you on twos. Grimnir? Yep. Because I'm double Because touch. you double touch. I make one, fail two. So you're gonna take Six. Six damage. Whoa, baby. The double judgment helps another three wounds from the heavy bolters. Oh, I take three. <laughs> Whoa, baby. So the hail strike has got two wounds remaining. All of the Hellblasters shoot at the biker. On oh, twos. So one AP minus three goes through, and one oh, AP yeah. nothing is fail. Three damage in total. That's enough. That, that is, is enough. enough. Kills the bikes. <gasps> when I built this list, it was two things that went in, and it was the first two things that went in. The Desolation Squad and the Storm Speeder Hail Strike, simply so that I could do this. The Desolation Squad is going to hammer into the Oath unit. Sure. Hitting a twos are rolling. Desolators do what? Whoa, it's 200 points. <laughs> it's insane, dude. Take that. Take that, you bearded wonder. Five killed by the hail of missiles so far. The Thane nearly tanks it all, but ultimately falls. That is, that unit is nutty. Like, like Christmas fudge nutty. Like that is just, what are they doing? Okay, right, great. Uh, so one more thing left to shoot. 
Uh, the Ballistus Dreadnought is going to shoot all of its weapons into the Thunderkin. So he dies, uh, and then I'm going to try and make a five inch charge to these suckers. Martius Calgar charges at the hearth guard. Fists of Ultramar! Oh, in there. Get power swords like AP3 and stuff. AP2 on the swords, uh, and then uh, AP3 on uh, his love gloves. So, I'm gonna void armor my hearth guard. Yeah, that checks out. <laughs> Strong. And each one of these is a dead dude. He's go to AP1s. Yeah, so on threes. So three ups, one dead so far. One dead. Just one dead. And then Calgar goes in on twos. That's right, rune on four is rerolling. Four up. Good. Four up. Good. Steve uses armor of contempt and is out of command points. Winning on threes. Three ups. Um, make one, fail one. Three up. I fail that. So I lose one vicious card. This guy right here. Blech. Okay. Uh, mass hammer. Twos. Yep. Uh, good. Good to go. Thunderkin got dragged in, and they'll now fight. Oh, Thunderkin failed. No damage. I'm feeling good right now. I think I did a really good like blow to JT's lines. I've tangled up a lot of his good units in the middle with Calgar. Let him chew through that for a little while while the rest of my shooting kind of comes up and I can just keep wailing away. Hopefully, I got enough I got enough gas in the tank to get it to the end. Hopefully. We'll see. No secondary points again for Steve. He finishes two turns with just five points total. But he has done some serious damage and tied up the middle of the map with Marnius Calgar hand to hand with the enemy, right where he wants to be. Get on the scoreboard, Steve. So Steve just had a really good turn. Um, I'm in a bit of trouble. This this is not going so great, but no matter what happens, it's going in the book. 10 primary points have the score 30 to five. Secondaries are area denial and investigate signals. No freebies today. Judgment falls on Calgar and friends. So I'm gonna attempt to clear out Calgar and his boys in the middle. I do have the ability to fall back and, and shoot and charge, and my hearth guard can shoot a lot. More pioneers pop up in the back to get a shot at the repulsor. Time to bring the guns. Ooh. First things mm, first. Guns. Bikes at the back, because really their only target is your four wound repulsor, which sure. are going to target the four wound repulsor. Here we go. So threes for two damage. I take it, two damage. So then the other bikes, I'm going to throw my shotguns into your bird. Oh, yeah. <laughs> shotguns at the store. Okay. <laughs> and get all him. of the other guns are going to go into your repulsor. Okay. So let's do the shotguns into the bird just to see if I can down it. This would be funny. Threes. <laughs> Two. 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 <laughs> Threes. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh, I'm fine. Ah, yeah. box cars. I'm fine. <laughs> On threes. I believe. <laughs> I, I still have the high last rotary. Do you believe? In a thing called love? Oh, no, it dies. <laughs> no, no, it dies. See, this explodes, it does not. Well, that would have been so good. So I am going to fire my Grimnir and my Etikarn Plasma Beamer into your Storm Spear Hail Strike. And then my Bolter and my Magna Rail are going to go into Magna Marnius Calgar Squad. Please let Calgar live. Please let Calgar live. Please let Calgar live. Into your Storm Spear. I pass two, fail one. Don't roll. One damage? Yep, that's it. Do I burn my brain? I don't. No. And the Etikarn Beamer, one shot with sustained hits D3. No. Fails to hit you. Oh my sweet goodness. I looks like I gotta charge you now. Wow. I'm trying to kill it. <laughs> He's on how many wounds? One. <sighs> yeah, I'll try. I'll <laughs> oh no, them. you have to charge him to take the objective bike. from me. So silly. Also, no damage to the Eradicators. All right, so the Hearth Guard are gonna dump everything into Calgar Squad. Yeah, they will. Twos, it's down to twos. Okay. Uh. Fixtrix down. Plus three. On threes. Uh, oh, I lose a dude still though. Hearthkin squad into Calgar squad. Four. This my the Hearthkin open fire at the beleaguered eradicators. Only two damage after all of that. Now it's time for the charge phase. Hell yeah. I reckon. Hearthgar, run at the eradicators. Boss Heart kills a wounded eradicator with his chest bump. Hearthkin. In for the kill. 
The close ones make it, but the far ones do not. Bikers also join the fray with the speeder. One command point on Warrior Pride will give plus two armor penetration to the Hearth Guard. Calgar's in trouble. So I'm gonna start with the Hearth Guard. So it's gonna be two, four, just six attacks. It's on twos? Yes. The last Eradicator dies to fists. And then we've got the Ein here Champion. Come on, buddy. Not enough for a command reroll. I make them both suck my toes. <laughs> oh, baby, that was awesome. <laughs> Brutal. Grimnir now. Oh, twos. I'm good. Over there. This one matters. This one is so silly. <laughs> oh, boy. Six attacks. My sweet lord. Five. But I get a wound. It's all I need. It's all I need. Three up. Come on, baby. Yes. Play on. Ugh, play on. That storm strike is going in the book, man. That stupid thing. I can't miss that part. Weird, grumpy dwarf noises. All right, Calgar, swing away. Uh, Calgar is going to slam into the Hearthkin unit. The Hearthkin? Yeah. So these guys? Those little those guys. guys. The little I, guys. Sure. Th this thing is nonsense, and I would so much rather just ice the other squad. What's so, the other one you have to score? Defense stronghold. Oh, yeah. Threes re-rolling. Does he live? Nope. Nope. No. no. Death. The squad dies. Needs to make all three of these. He's only got four wounds. Oh boy. So I can fail one. You can fail one. You have. Oh. I fail one. Darn it. Three fiddle pains because the dude's still there. No. Down to a wound. So okay. the Grimnir lives on a single wound. And the Grimnir's out of combat. Grimnir's now, out right? of combat, yeah. Calgar is alive. He's alive. Granted, he doesn't have any stuff with him, it's just him. Which is not great, but, but, awesome. Discarding investigate signals for a command point, but area denial is maintained. Tough go for JT, three points for Steve for maintaining the stronghold. 30 to eight now, with Steve scoring the only secondary points in JT's round. A Hellblaster is returned to the fold. Investigate signals and assassinate are okay secondaries, it would have been great to kill the Grimnir last round. Five primary points put the score 13 for Steve and 30 for JT. All right, my turn is coming up. I need to do some serious damage right now. The lone infiltrator pops back to investigate some signals. Yeah, I'm gonna spend a command point on Overwatch. And I'm gonna Overwatch with my Hearthkin. I failed too. Ooh, three lethal wounds, make it through. Three remain. To see go. if they actually got it back or not. They do they get, do it, do back. get it back, I don't spend it. All right, so first things first, mm -hmm. um, I am going to spend one command point and the Intercessors are gonna grenades into the um, Hearthkin or mm -hmm. whatever they are. If they live, this is gonna just be fits for him. The advantage here is he's gonna have to dedicate to shoot them. He can risk splitting fire and maybe pop out my bikes or something, but he has to dedicate to kill that unit and I'm sort of okay with it. Here's hoping I just get like six of them, swipe the squad. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. Uh, so two of them, I, I, I kill two. two. Sorry, two. I, I kill one, kill two, one. two mortals. The Ballistus hammers at the hearth guard now with missiles and laser cannon. Void armor, at least he's consistent. The storm altar. Two up, take that. Oh, I yeah, take, take a wound. It's one of those games, it's man. It's one of those games. It's one of those games. Laz cannons. Oh, oh, no damage other than a storm bolter shot. Save it. What are dice anyway? The intercessors mm -hmm. are all gonna shoot their uh, bolt rifles at the Grimnir. The intercessors fail too. Nothing. The desolators open fire, split between the hearth guard and the Grimnir. Okay, what do you wanna do first? It's a stupid unit. I know JT's really thinking about it. I can see those little dwarf wheels moving around in his head. I can see it. And so um, behind his beard, there's a lot of worry, and I can see it. I can feel it. Everyone can. Owen's seen it. Right, right Owen? It's, I can't see anything else. You can't see anything else. Tycho, right? Yeah. Earth, what? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So, JT, we all see your worry. So five <laughs> Nerf guns. So, so five D3 shots into the... 
Into the bit, into the Grimnir. Come on, Jason. You got a four bit roll. Yeah, here we go. You got a wheel fives though, right? It's fine. Sick. Oh, three of them. Okay, five up saved. Do we do this one at a time for dramatic effect? No, just roll it all. Roll it all, JT. You know what's funny about this? I'm gonna look you in the eyes while I do it. No. Damn it, I failed too. <laughs> Oh, Jason the Inconsistent. You inconsistently, consistently, inconsistent. Vangor launcher, kaboom! Yeah. D6 shots? Yeah, that's the last one. Vangor fails. Super cracks! Here's a super crack. Oh, there it is. AP2? Yeah. So, armor content and cover, I'm good. Oh yeah, that's true. Because yep. they're ignoring cover. Yeah, you're okay. Wow. This is huge. They are an absolute beat face unit, and I'm still in this. May your woes continue is all that I ask. Yeah. Are you uh, overcharging? You better believe I'm overcharging. That unit with a in we go. is so stupid. It's so awesome. I make two. Oh, my poor bikers. At least Boom, you're, at get least out. You're, at least you're not on the objective. Get though. out. The surviving pioneers zip back into reserve. Steve's big plan to fall back in the middle and shoot up his tormentors failed. My only hope here, I'm only a little bit now behind JT because he had a bit of a bummed scoring turn. It's possible I could kind of like leapfrog with a little bit of luck into the winning positions. I don't know if Steve has enough time to come get primaries. Fingers crossed, please, 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 hopefully, let's roll it. The Hearthguard survived the whole enchilada. It's still close, folks. 30 to 20, only a 10 point gap. This could be big. It's going to matter where I bring my bikes back in, but I think I got a real shot at this. Area denial and overwhelming force are secondaries that JT can do. Battleshock fail on the hearth guard. A big 10 on primary secures a massive lead, 40 to 20 at the top of four. Can JT keep his lead till the end? Steve still has a lot of guns. Bikes pop up in the back again. I believe that's it. I'm on to my shooting phase now. So I'm going to pull a, a trick out of Steve's book here, and I'm going to grenade Calgar to death. Why fight him when I can just throw a grenade at him? Grenading Marnius, the fartiest Calgar. Looking for fours. They blow him up! Oh, wham! The chapter master is laid low. The Hearthkin warriors are shooting at the intercessors. Four. Uh, take one. Kill a guy and wound a guy. So bikes into the same target from the autocast. Strength seven. Uh, I lose two dudes. Okay. Hearthguard split into the Desolators and Intercessor. Into the Intercessors from the I'm Here Champion. Nope, take it. And the Plasma hits you uh, and wounds you. Three, six up. Nope. Two damage. And into the Desolation Marines, there's five, right? Yeah. So the blast is seven shots. Four. I lose one Desolation Kills a, kills a dude. So I'm actually going to attempt a 10-inch charge. Sure. Sounds good. With a 12. You get it. Hearthkin, make a huge charge and surround the surviving intercessor. I have no way to charge to get downtown there. Kind of okay with them hiding right there, because the only guys can shoot me are desolators, and maybe I can live through another turn of those. Maybe, maybe I can't. Maybe, maybe I can't. It's hard to say. Maybe I can't. So let us do some fights now, shall we? We'll see if the call can just ice you fastest. On threes. One at AP two How about for two. I make it. Oh, nice. Hearthkin Warriors now. I make it. <laughs> There's a whole bunch more tags coming though. Fours. Just what save, dude? <laughs> I can't kill you. Oh, there it is. Oh no, I only take a wound. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's that's not great. I can't believe that's, he's that's alive. That's really not great. <laughs> oh, it hits with all of it. T5, <laughs> baby. That's fine, all fives. I wound with two. Uh, two four ups. I kill no. two guys. Two six ups. Yeah, he kills two, two dwarves. Two. I cannot believe what is no. happening right now. There's been such an exchange in the middle of the board, it's been kind of ridiculous. So just realize that even though I've moved my hearth game to the middle of the board, I need two command points to insane bravery in the next turn, and I don't know if I'm gonna have that. If they hold and if they live, I sticky that objective in my command phase, which means I can go walk off, get in Steve's face, and just be annoying on the fifth turn. Wow, no secondary score. JT keeps area denial, but chucks overwhelming force, 40 to 20. Turn four, this is where it all spins around. I can feel it, things are coming up Steve. Mm. 
I can see it, the worry burrowing deep beneath his beard. I can see it, I can see it, I can see it. I'm not worried, not at all. You can't see worry under my beard. Look, there's nothing there. See, it doesn't say worry. It's just an Adam's apple. I don't know what he's talking about. What's he talking about? Secondaries are secure in no man's land and behind enemy lines. Kind of difficult. There are not many models left. Oath of Moment stays on the hearthkin. Battleshock ravages the Space Marines. Both solo infantry units fail. Five primary, that's not a lot. Steve trails 25 to 40. I need to do a bunch of work. In particular, I very, very much want to lift up the stupid Hearthguard unit. They need to get out of here. So hopefully I roll well on some grenades, clear the chaff, and then I'm able to just like dig into that character and lift him out of there. Infiltrators make a run for it. So this guy goes right here, desperate breakout. On a one to three, he dies. Come on, baby. If there was ever a time for you to make this happen for me, Die. now is the time. He's dead. I'm gonna start with Hellblaster is gonna overcharge everything into the Calls unit. Five ups. The unit is vaporized, but the call survives on two wounds. So then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna shoot the Storm Bolter into the call. All of the long range weapons into the bikers in the back. Storm Bolters, are you rolling? Five. Yeah, sorry, it's blow half. Four AP nothings, oh my god. Come on, Dingus. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yo, oh, he dies. He dies hard. He dies hard to the Storm Bolter. Last cannons and missiles to the end. So yeah. last cannons hitting on three is re-rolling. Oh, you get judged for that too. Oh, hell yeah, I do. Only one bike dies, another wounded. The Storm Speeder shoots everything into the cannon in the middle. Sure. Now he's starting into my hearth guard. If I can just live, this will be huge. The frag, frag grenades, mm -hmm. three is re-rolling. And then uh, these are on fives. Roll uh, the one, do, do it. it. Good. Yeah, that's what I got a charge. You're just like, ah! Oh, dude, it's, it's freaking panic at the disco. Like, <laughs> just one, five, three rolling. Oh, oh my goodness. God. Five wounds. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. And it's then two, two more. Oh, Good. No, you're fine. I do that because I have three wounds at the end, right? And then the other gun it has, because screw it. It has so many guns. Okay, now I need sixes. Come on, boys. Come on, baby. You can on, do boys. it. Two sixes. Two sixes. A hearth guard falls to the devastating wounds. Desolators now. Oh yeah. Oh, they can oh, see the champ, can, that's they, it. They can see the champ. Oh, they can see the bikes too. And what's crazy is I think that's what's happening. I'm going. Splitting fire, getting greedy. Oh yeah. Super cracks all the way to the end. Yeah. And then all of this, all of the other weapons here into the middle for the win. Bolter drill recall for a command point adds sustain one and critical on fives to the Desolator's prodigious firepower. Let's do the heavy weapons down to the end first. So super sure. cracks. How many? All the way three to the them? end. Uh, three of them. Hitting on twos. Twos. Four sixes. The bikes cannot escape the volley of missiles. Dead to a man. From the Castellans. This is sustain. Mm -hmm. So good, good. Good. Death fails. The Castellan launchers hammer down the last hearth guard, and the Vingar launcher knocks the champion down to three wounds remaining. Not a lot of dwarves left. Damn it. Ah, that stinks. Hurts. Right in here, right in, right in my two hearts. Oh man, I've got two Broker Thunderkin, Theo the Mechanic, and Eugene Bossheart left as I go into turn five. But. I'm gonna score 15 points on primary. I think that's actually gonna put the game away. JT storms in with 73 for a final score, which gives a resounding win to the Votan. Overall, a rip-roaring shootout with lots of tight tactical moves. Thank you, Steve and JT for the fantastic game. Thank you, Game Matt. Thank you, Owen. And most of all, thank you to our wonderful viewers. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you like us, and if you love us, consider joining our membership for exclusive content, a wicked cool Discord full of happy, friendly gamers, early access, and more. And as always, until we see you next time in the grim dark of a far-flung future, play on! Incredibly smart play and solid list build from Steve. I had a blast kind of building under this archetype. There's a lot of grudging going on, but look under my beard, you'll see. There's no worry there anymore. It might have been there a little bit. Don't tell Steve.
I'm really excited to get back to that drawing board, make some tweaks, and you know what, that's kind of the magic of Warhammer right there, isn't it?